Hey everyone, this is Ryder from Skip. I hope you're doing well. It's Wednesday, August 5th, and I have a very quick update on good news on the EIDL bill that would give more funding to small businesses through the EIDL Advance and Loan Program. This is a letter that was just sent today to the Committee on Small Business and Entrepreneurship in Congress asking for what we've been asking for for the past week, and it has several new senators supporting this bill, which is really exciting. I'm gonna share which senators from which states. The good news is it's bipartisan, and it's good news what they're asking for. So I'm gonna dive into that. Thanks, as always, for subscribing and staying up to date. Like I've said, as soon as there are any important updates, particularly with EIDL funding, we will try to do a video. And of course, if you want immediate alerts, when there is any new stimulus funding, EIDL funding passed, especially if there's action that you need to take, you can sign up for alerts at helloskip.com slash EIDL dash alerts. I'll leave the link in the description. All right, let's dive in. First, before I get to the letter that was signed by about a dozen senators today, I'm gonna to talk about some background and the latest on the stimulus package, which is also important. Progress is being made. I said this yesterday, progress made on second stimulus package this is what came out yesterday. Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi said that they had progress yesterday in an almost two hour meeting with the White House where they agreed on some important issues. So here's what it says. Though the two parties remain divided on several key issues, Democrats pressing for unemployment benefits, Republicans holding strong on helping businesses, pressures from the White House and the upcoming congressional recess, which is this Friday, are pushing negotiators closer to a unified proposal. I mentioned yesterday, Mitch McConnell was open to the increased and extended unemployment benefits. It turns out, it looks like so is the White House today. So that is a very positive development that they are aligning on the extra unemployment benefits. Both sides have made concessions. Here's what Steve Mnuchin said yesterday. We're going to try to reach an overall agreement if we can get it done by the end of this week. Right, that's so important to get something done by Friday before everyone goes away on their recess. And so the president can sign something into law, hopefully right after. Again, with the CARES Act, the CARES Act was passed by Congress and the president signed it two days later. We hope in this case, let's say something gets agreed upon tomorrow or Friday, the president can then sign it either over the weekend or on Monday, which would be amazing. So let's keep hoping for that. Here's the news that's come out on the EIDL funding. This was just published by the Nevada Independent that Rosen and Cornyn call for, quote, robust EIDL funding and reforms in the next pandemic package. Again, they're calling for the EIDL funding and reforms to get into this package now, as in the negotiations that are happening today, tomorrow, Friday, hopefully there's an agreement. They want EIDL to be a part of that. And they sent a letter today Here's what John Cornyn said from Texas. As the economic storm caused by COVID-19 continues and hurricane, wildfire, and other natural disasters threaten our small business community, it is critical Congress authorize robust disaster loan funding. This is one of the things he said in the letter. And of the 11 senators that signed this letter today, seven were Republicans and four were Democrats. So it's great to see bipartisan support and I'd like to think that some of our letter writing, some of your letter writing is paying off. Senators are getting the message. Like I've been doing before I get to the letter, huge shout out to over 5,000 of you now that have requested that we send letters to your senators. It's paying off. This letter today is great because it reinforces the effort that now close to a dozen senators are making to get EIDL reform in this stimulus bill this week. They don't want us to wait any longer. They don't want small businesses to wait any longer. They don't want sole proprietors to wait any longer. They want you to be able to top up to 10K and get higher loan amounts if you need them. They wanna make sure that you can survive August, September, and beyond. Keep up the great work here. We're still writing letters. It's a lot of work, but if you do want us to write on your behalf, go here, helloskip.com slash blog slash 80 billion. Okay, let me show you the letter very briefly here. Here's what they wrote. It's dated yesterday, but they sent it today to Chairman Rubio and Ranking Member Cardin. Again, both of them are on the Committee on Small Business and Entrepreneurship. This letter, as most letters have, has a lot of background about the CARES Act and the history of the CARES Act. <laughs> We've all seen it. 
many times. A few lines I'm going to point out here, though. This is what I just read before. Here it is in the letter. It is critical Congress authorize robust disaster loan funding. Then there's two paragraphs of more background about the SBA, what was in the CARES Act, what went wrong, right? Again, they're reiterating everyone should get 10,000. Everyone should get 10,000. That's what the CARES Act said. Therefore, Here's what they ask. We ask the committee to provide robust funding for EIDL in the next coronavirus relief package and also take steps in such legislation to ensure that SBA cannot place caps on EIDL loans and grants below the levels authorized by Congress in the CARES Act. This is the biggest gap that SBA made decisions that were against what was in the CARES Act. And all of this effort that we're doing that senators are doing is to basically say, look, the CARES Act back in March said that the EIDL funding was to be for number one, $10,000 grants, and number two, loans up to $2 million, period. So this letter is great, and you can see who it's signed by here. Of the senators we have here, we have Republican senators from Nebraska, South Dakota, Arkansas, North Dakota, Louisiana, Georgia, and Texas. And of the Democratic senators, we have support from Nevada, both Democratic senators from Nevada, also Hawaii and Maryland. All right, so we're writing those folks, we're writing other senators, and we're gonna stick at it until we can get more people signing this, and hopefully this gets attention today and tomorrow in the negotiations. As always, we so appreciate you subscribing and staying up to date and also sharing with friends. If your senator represented in this letter, please leave a comment, we'd love to hear. Please stay well and stay healthy.